Pull in. Locked up. And a very nice break in the Breeders' Stakes with Kao Kaipu driven hard on the inside for that early lead. Away well was Hemlo Gold and Paramount Prince as they go into the first turn. And it is Kao Kaipu who's up on the inside with Hemlo Gold and Paramount Prince. Simcoe trying to settle down towards the early lead. And also racing handy in the part is Tiburon. Racing on their outside came Sammy Stone and Elysian Field. And Touch and Ride's gone up towards the main pack and two-way crossings on the outside. And as they go into that turn, a fair way back at this point is out wider on the track. Now Elysian Field got back from Sammy Stone and then Tito's calling. And uh, towards the back is Wickenheiser. And at the back of affairs is British Artillery as they swing into the back stretch. And racing with the early leaders over on the inside, Hemlo Gold about a neck. Paramount Prince has taken over. And racing is Malibu, Midnight in Malibu in third. Over on the inside is Kaukor Kaipu who settles in fourth. And as they go into the uh, opening quarter, the pace has been pretty good. Over on the outside, Touch and Ride is only about three or four lengths off this lead. And two and a half, Elysian Field, Tiburon. And on the inside, Simcoe, length and a half, Tito's calling. And in behind them came Philip, my dear, Sammy Stone. And trying to get involved from the back is two-way crossing. And a long last is British Artillery. And out in front by about an egg is Hemlo Gold from Paramount Prince, Midnight in Malibu and Kaukau Kaipu. Touch and Ride, a great ride, is right behind them. A length and a half away came Simcoe and Elysian Field from Tiburon. Tito's calling, Wickenheiser, Sammy Stone. Then two-way crossing. Philip my dear and a long last is British Artillery racing with the lead as they swing off the turn to the half mile is still Hemlo Gold and Paramount Prince three wide midnight in Malibu right behind them touch and rye called up Cal Cor Kaipu giving ground Elysian Field the Phillies running on a length behind them it is over on the inside Simcoe from Wickenheiser Tito's calling two-way crossing is running on well behind them Sammy Stone but as they come down to the final bend it's Paramount Prince and Elysian Field who've swept to the front over on the inside Hemlo Gold and now touch and Rye coming after them as Alicia Field swings for home and got away. Taken on by Touch and Ride down the center. Wickenheiser finishing on, but Touch and Ride coming after Alicia Field. And they've run clear of two-way crossing going to third. Oh, she's drifting. Alicia Field taking Touch and Ride right off the track. And now Touch and Ride deep on the course is just in front. Alicia Field fighting back. Touch and Ride out wide. Alicia Field coming back. Touch and Ride, Alicia Field. Touch and Ride narrowly from Alicia Field. And third to a crossing from Philip, my dear Tito's calling, Wickenheiser, Kaukokai, Peru, British Artillery, Tiburon, Sammy Stone, Simcoe, Paramount, Prince, Hemlo, Golden, Midnight in Malibu, last, 227.56. touch and ride able to capture the breeder stakes first things first congratulations on a breeder stakes victory has it sunk in yet <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah it has i've been choked up over it um but it's uh i had a great feeling coming into the race and and for him to come through the way he did and and to kazushi to give him the ride that he did it was uh it's it's fantastic so this was amazing in the one lone turf try we were able to see out of this. Has this been horse you've been itching to get back on the grass? We have. We've talked about this for a long time. Um, since since his maiden win, uh, since his first time that he ran when he did finish third, with his pedigree and being half related to, to Nipua, who won this a few years ago, we always felt that it was something that he can do and something ideal to point him towards. You had to sweat it out a little bit, but that might make it a little bit sweeter, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd rather not. I, I, I would have rather do it without the sweating, but um, we'll take it. I was trying to just celebrate, yes. and once again, congratulations. Thank what you. a job well done. Thank you very much. Once again, it was Touch and Ride able to capture the third leg of the OLG Triple Crown. What an awesome performance. So happy for Lane Guilaforte and Kazushi Kimura on board. By first leg, it's 62.80. Win photo.